Hey, Jalen, if uh, I can go a little off topic from football just for a second. Um, I know you've grown close with Randall Cunningham, have a relationship with him. His uh, daughter was recently in town, jumped in the pen relay she wanted, and I had a chance to ask him about you were, the way you approach it, and he mentioned that he tries to use your calmness, your approach with his daughter in the Olympics. And when you hear something like that, what do you think? Um, I think that's what it's all about. Um, for me, you know, just uh, – trying to set a good example, uh, the right example, and, um, you know, real competitors understand exactly what that is and what that looks like, and being able to talk to Randall, uh, build our relationship with him, and, you know, um, as much as I admire him, for him to look at me as an example um, for his for his daughter, you know, that means a lot, and um, that's, I mean, he has, a, he has a family full of athletes, you know, starting with him, so uh, it's a great family, great man, and congrats to her. What do you feel like you Last time we talked to you, um, you were talking about being in sponge mode with, with this offense. Where are you in that process now? Are you starting to get more vocal in what you need as well? Yeah, I think, I think you know, this whole entire offseason, um, it's been about learning. Um, learning, learning and taking in a new knowledge, new perspective um, and the minds that we have in the room. Um, and I think throughout the whole entire thing, that's kind of been the emphasis. You know, you get to a point where you kind of feel, um, hey, I'm going I'm to I'm feel comfortable with this. I'm going to like this. But um, that time comes where you can rep it, rep it, rep it later on. But, you know, right now, it's been a, um, been a lot of new inventory in. Um, majority of it, you know, probably 95% of it being new. Um, and so it's just been uh, been that process, and it's been a fun process because you get to see um, what works uh, for other people. And the, the number of coaches that I've had um, since I've been here, I've been able to take in a lot of new knowledge and new understanding. And so um, I think the goal coming in was to, you know, learn Kellen's offense and, and master it. Um, and I think that's been a process, and I think – by the end of it, I want it to be mine um, and, and have it in, in my own way. Um, I think I think that's kind of a credit to, again, the, the, the lack of continuity um, with that and it being a, a thing where I've kind of had to um, take all these new things and new voices and um, still go out there and be successful and efficient. And so I think that's, um, I think that's exactly what's going to happen again. 95% is really high. Are you surprised? It's that kind of wholesale change? Um, well, no, I'm not. But I think uh, bigger picture of football, you know, a lot of things are similar, right? Like everybody, you know, you can look on the internet and see, okay, well, these guys are running this play or whatever. But, you know, you never know what that player is being coached to do. You never know how they're being taught to do it, how, how to execute it. And so that's exactly what makes it difference. Uh, makes it different. The X's and O's, the lines on the paper, they may very well be – what they're supposed to be, but how I coach and how I detail these routes, um, how I coach the quarterback, you know, what I want his timing to be, where I want him um, looking, where I want his eyes. You know, are, are receivers reading routes? Are they not reading routes? Are there alerts on this? Are there che checks and adjustments built in on this? Or is it something that, you know, someone has to do, the quarterback has to do? You know, that that's what makes a system a system. What are your keys for digesting a new system and – and taking that ownership, like you said. Yeah, just taking it day by day. You know, I think there's a ton of ton of good in all the reps that we got. Um, just going out there and competing and getting um, getting as close as we can to 11 on football. Obviously, uh, just doing majority seven on seven. But I thought it was a great time. I thought I had a great uh, great off season here, just learning and taking in everything. And um, you know, now the next step is just to build and spend some of the time. Um, we're going to spend together in the off season, you know, with the receivers and whatnot. But coming back to training camp, ready to go. What stands out about this, this offense now that you've had some time to run it? What are the the main takeaways of what you what you like? And well, I think um, still early. You know, it's still early. It's still early. Um, I think you know, just Kellen and, and Coach Doug have come in and and been really structured, organized, had a plan um, from jump, and I think. Um, and hope that, you know, that's a, you know, that'd be a big difference for us.
How much did how much did having the mini camp how much did having the mini camp help you? I mean that's something you guys haven't done, you know, since you've been here. It's just uh, extended a week. I didn't see any difference in what we did, you know, the other days than this. So, um, you know, it was something we did for the first time. It's, it's, it's great work. Brought a couple How veteran receivers in, Paris Campbell and uh, John Ross. How have they looked to you getting used to this system? I'm sorry? Paris Campbell and John Ross, two veteran guys. How have they looked to you in getting acclimated to this new system? Uh, they've been fine. They've been fine. Um, you know, those are guys that have come in. They have talent. They've showed that talent. Um, since they've been here and, and where they've been before, so um, I, I think I think the the ultimate thing and it is just we we all need to um, kind of build that rapport with one another as time goes on. That's on both sides of the ball. You know, we um, had multiple voices on both sides last year, um, on both sides of the ball, and now you know we have made the changes we've made, and everybody has to to learn those things and learn learn the way of of our new coaches. You mentioned it is eventually your goal to make the offense your own in a way. How have you seen uh, Kellen and uh, Nussmeyer kind of present some things to you for the offense that kind of seems specific to what might be your eventual goal there? Um, it just comes with time. You know, I think um, that's the overall goal in the end. Um, you know, everybody in the building uh, knows the game, knows who the game runs through. Um, and so the, the goal – of it is to learn as much as I can um, and, you know, master and, and, and see how they, you know, look at these plays and what's your intentions behind this? What are we trying to do? Um, what are you coaching me to do? And then um, over time, it, it'll naturally take over itself. So. At the end of last season, away over the next month and a half, time away from football? I do. What are the kinds of things that you do? Um, not football stuff. <laughs> At the end of last season, you – you mentioned how every year presents its own different types of challenges in terms of leadership in the locker room. How are you approaching this this new group of players and connecting with them? Um, I think I think um, I think that's something that happens very naturally too. You know, I think every team is different. I think that's one thing that you can um, you know you kind of hold on to so much. Every team is different, and. Um, I have the approach of, of treating every year like I'm a freshman, like I'm new to it, like I'm a rookie, and, and being diligent and patient in everything that I'm doing. And, um, you know, I think that 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 requires you to um, learn the individuals that you're going to be going, going out there to bat with, um, see what they're good at, see what they're not, you know, see, uh, you know, just see, see where their head is, uh, for better words, um, and get to know them. And so... That consists of, you know, spending time in the summer, throwing, um, checking up on folks, and um, just just building building that rapport. You've had, you've had work in the term. Sorry, yes, sir. You have you've had uh, off season kind of workouts with various receivers before. Do you have anything planned for the for the summer? That's a that's a um, that's a pretty standard thing. And speaking to us, Doug used the term two point three seconds. Is that a phrase that's that's been used in the meeting rooms and? How does that compare to the clock you've used in the past? In reference to? To uh, the structured chaos. I assume, I assume not, because I haven't heard that before, so I don't know. So with uh, uh, Kellen Moore and Nussmeyer, what do you connect with them through, like their knowledge of their uh, both quarterback uh, roles and things like that? How, how, how have you seen their knowledge and what's that relationship been like so far? Um, yeah, no, I love the... Um, you know, I love the the dynamic that, you know, has been put in place in terms of, you know, everybody has a role and, you know, that's the goal, I think, is everybody to do their job. And, um, you know, that, that goes for everyone. And so just learning as much as I can from, you know, coach and, you know, Kellen is kind of a mild-mannered person where he's uh, laid back, kind of bigger picture, has his hands on uh, pretty much everything, you know, and, and, and Coach Doug is all about just putting, you know, putting me in – putting me in the best position to succeed and uh, preparing me to play at a high level. And so uh, just the conversations of learning, you know, they've, uh, they've been around, a, you know, been around it for a, a, a good minute now and um, got great experience in it um, and calling plays and coaching quarterbacks. And um, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just there. I'm just there listening and um, taking in that knowledge. Um, I've known Doug for a very long time. Um, 
because he, he wanted me to come to Florida coming out of high school, kind of like kind of like Brian. Um, so kind of kind of similar there. What have, you noticed, what have you noticed about you know Nick being open minded to change up every you know the offense like he has? I mean, what's that state on him? Um. I mean, it's a great question. I don't know that I know the answer to it. Well, what have you seen? What have you seen from him as far as doing that? Um, I think he's just, you know, he's been a, you know, great and, um, you know, the the messages he's delivering to the team. Um, he's trying to be very intentional in what he's saying. Um, and yeah. Last one. Yeah. A couple years ago, you talked about your, your relationship with, with Jonathan Gannett and your, your guys back and forth. Are you developing that with, with Vic and what are your impressions of what he's been installing? Yeah, no, uh <laughs> Yeah, he gives he gives me a little he gives me he he, he talk a little trash uh sometimes and, and I and I and I enjoy that, but I always remind him, you know, against him, so um <laughs> but um no, he's been great. You know, they um, he, he's got them wired up. He has a, a great mentality on defense. Um, kind of old fashioned, you know. And you know, we're just uh, trying to trying to get the hay in the barn, um, and you know, prepare prepare for what's to come, and you know, just make sure we're 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 peaking at the right time. Thanks, John. Thank, Thank you. you.